And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Darkfish Head Worldwide Stout. The ABV is between 15 and 20 percent. So we know something's about to go down. Special shout out to uh, Robert, uh, aka the Whiskey Scout, for sending me this. Bottle, Darkfish Head, of course, uh, based in Milton, Delaware, Sam Caligion, now partnership or co-ownership with um, Boston Beer Company, Jim Cook, of course, Boston Beer Company, known for the infamous Boston, Sam Adams Boston Lager, so, a dark, with rich, dark, rich, roasted complex, with a large, ridiculous amount of barley, that's what this says. Gets a 94 score on Beer Advocate, world class. Gets 4.2 score out of 5 on uh, on tap. So, right beer sure probably gives it a higher score too. So, barrel age, so you know it's going to be something. Mm. And I definitely see why it is age. Oh boy. It says, it does, and I mentioned also that it has a depth more in line with a fine port and I'm definitely getting sort of that port aroma from this almost maybe of a mead but this is like I said tons and tons of barley in this uh, port wines are more dessert wines of course last time I had a port is going back what 20 ay, 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 2017 last time I had a port wine so I went home to see my folks forever for the holidays uh, back way back then so mm. definitely has that aroma so let's try shall we oh my goodness oh my goodness oh wow mm. There's a double imperial style again, 15 and 20 percent. I'm, I'm guessing this is an eight, they say it's 18, but it may feel like it's a 17, maybe a 20. But again, they have that range between 15 and 20. If you go on the website of Dogfish Head, you'll see it that range. So, depends on what state. I know this will not be sold in Alabama, that's for sure. And they we do get Dogfish Head beers when I lived in Alabama, but for the, this ABV, hell no. So not in your life. I think the ABV is high. You can go in Alabama. I think it's like 12%. Yeah, 12 something percent. So, so the Goose Island, Bourbon County style, that wouldn't be, wouldn't be found there. Um, and a few others. And, well, and definitely Mississippi, you can forget about it. I think the highest ABV is 10%. So, there you go. Good old Bible Belt. And all its lost but anyway enough about that that's why i said i might relocate to louisiana louisiana then yeah i'll bypass alabama louisiana definitely i could live so nice really full texture here nice complexity in this Again, it has that smell of a port wine, which is not. So, roasted barley is definitely there. A little hint of some coffee in this, a little hint of some chocolate, but man, this is just a phenomenal product. You know, I, I feel, I look at places, I guess, where Robert had sent me this bottle. You know, it's all about responsibility. Again, you know, you just wish government, and I'm not going to get into a rant here. I just wish government sometimes could let, let adults make the decision on what they want to get. If you don't want to buy alcohol, fine. If you don't, if you do, you know, increase the ABV. I mean, let the states, let the people, let the people decide, okay. The laws of in terms of ABVs on certain wines, let it go high. You know, get the states out of it. But you know, 
the states and they get the church involved and all that. It's just too complexity and they want to control everything. And, and of course, there's also the taxes situation where, you know, you know, folks got to get their cut, especially, you know, the, 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 the distribution system or the three tier system when it comes to alcohol. I mean, still some states are still dry. They won't sell alcohol, period, on certain days. Sundays, you know, Arkansas is one of them. They don't sell alcohol on Sundays. Kentucky doesn't sell alcohol on Sundays. So you're really at a, a crapshoot where basically you have to get your stuff the night before and, um, and then make sure that you conserve. I mean, really stock up, and I mean stock up the night before and then conserve your stuff for the next day. <laughs> Make sure you don't go overboard. And then you probably know somebody who knows someone, someone who might be, you know, has go to a certain house, wink, wink, and buy something under the table, you know. Hey, you got to make your money too. But that keep that a secret, right? <laughs> oh, man. The things I see. The things I know. I don't know a lot, but yeah, but this is a phenomenal product, man. I, um, again, distribution, I think with, with Dogfish Head and why they merged it with, uh, with this and Cal Gion and Jim Cook, I mean, for Dogfish Head more so than anything, again, like with all these mergers, guys, I've said this repeatedly many times, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, it's all about distribution. If I can get this, and I don't know they were getting any dogfish head out in Kansas, but I'm sure now they are. And for us, we get the uh, uh, 90 minute IPA, which I think we've gotten, Georgia had gotten it before, uh, a few times I've seen it, but I think now dogfish head beers, good majority of them, especially the, the IPA lines, the minute lines, you know, the, the 60 minute, the 90 minute, the 120, the 75 minute, which is their, their signature beers, and a few others. Um, we can get here um, but because of the ABV it's high ABV again we only here in Georgia we can only get ABV at 14% for beers we don't get this so which is like we'll see why Robert had gotten that but again distribution 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 so when I said well you're selling out to the craft guys why are you selling out you know you know, what are you doing you know you know we're all about we're all about independence independent no man it's all about reach and profit margin at the end of the day can my product reach you at this state and that state besides the state i'm located in and my bottom line and we've seen it a lot of these major companies and whatnot of course yingling you know getting in agreement with most of course to distribute again not buy but distribute their beers further out west since now they're in Texas now so that makes it I think 28 states including the District of Columbia that Yingling is, is in might be more with this with this agreement with Molson Coors of course who knows Molson may decide to cut the check and say hey let's make a deal hmm yeah again guys forgive me the music Mr. DJ in the background just uh does it quite a bit and personally I don't mind you know because I'm not really doing reviews or I am or not doing reviews but um, when I do you can see I try to usually it's kind of quiet but but you could barely hear the soundproof anyway but anyhow a delicious really good imperial style I like this a lot I'm gonna save some of this for personal enjoyment. Um, I'm gonna give it the same score. This is a 95 for me. This is world class. Definitely enjoy it. Again, the flavors that are there, I get a little hint of chocolate, a little hint of coffee, but it's very full of barley, and it's almost like, again, the scent of like a wine, but it's not a wine, so, or a meat, but it's just, that fullness of it, and it was aged for, I'm sure, maybe for a good while. And of course, the date is yeah, fresh. 
No, actually, this was age for a good while. So, Robert, thank you again. Robert Whiskey Scout, thank you again because I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to try to look for it or maybe maybe if I'm in Kansas, I'll, of course, I'm going to try to look you up and pick up a little bit of this. So, But anyway, 95 score, world class for the Dogfish Head Worldwide Stout. Age well. Very phenomenal product. Digging it a lot. 9.5. A, 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 all the way. Hmm. Jean Henderson Pierre, the beverage ramble. Team, keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Worldwide, worldwide stouts. Worldwide. I like.